Good day, YouTube. Wardle's on a lot here. Bit of a uh, unusual sight. Australian Army has white trucks as well as camouflage ones. They've sort of uh, gently come to town. And some of them are billeted in the town hall itself. Working on reconstruction projects, like boring new footings for a temporary bridge over the Man River to replace the one that fell down on the 8th of November after my son drove over it. And of course, you can't fit enough army engineers in the town hall a temporary bridge over the Man River, which had to happen because council pretty much had a bulldozer living down there full time because every time it rained the causeway would wash away. So the theory is put a temporary military bridge across there and that gives the council 12 months to figure out how and what they're going to do to put uh, a new permanent bridge over the Man. And of course, poor buggers got their footings poured on, well, I think Friday. And then yesterday was Saturday, and we had 50 mils of rain up here on top of the tablelands. So I'm kind of guessing that their brand new footings may have been washed out yesterday. But I can't say that for sure. What I can do is go over and uh, have a look on the football ground. And see if they're still over there with their larger encampment. As I said, if they're still there. Entirely possible they uh, packed up this morning and went home, although maybe, perhaps. Perhaps they've got to redo the bridge footings next week. Might be easier to leave them in situ, but they were working on various projects from Torrington to the Man River and therefore base camp was in Glenelg. So it said in the newspaper. However, I just caught a glimpse of the encampment still being there. There we go. Oh dear, oh dear. No public access. This reminds me greatly of 1978. barrel was taken over by the army for a much less laudable purpose though it was sort of ooh, can't see much there it was set dressing for the Commonwealth holiday on government money I mean Commonwealth heads of government meeting which got greatly discombobulated. Oh gee, they got a lot of them. Greatly discombobulated by uh, a bomb that somebody put in a garbage bin out the front of the Hilton Hotel in Sydney. And the bomb went off as a garbologist was about to uh, put the bin in his truck, killed the garbologist, and Australia was told that it was all the fault of the Ananda Marga. And the original plan had been for all the Commonwealth heads of government to go by train from Sydney to Barrel to stay at Margaret Houghton's holiday resort. She being a famous Glenness chef, cook, of note at the time and uh, because it was considered a major terrorist event barrel was put under martial law there were four armed guards 
at every street crossing, every road bridge, railway bridge between Barrel and Sydney, there was a leopard tank on Mount Gibraltar overlooking the town of Barrel. I got personally blown off a bicycle by a helicopter flying Napa the Earth. A Huey with its fuselage hanging down over the road below treetop level, rotors swishing the treetops. And uh, yeah, I was going to town to conduct a reconnaissance of the army's presence. Not unlike today's little effort. That's, uh, that's an excellent encampment. And anyway, one of the things I noticed when I was spying on the army back in the day was that uh, they had their SLRs and they were wearing their greens, just like a Vietnam song. But their SLRs had no magazines and all their ammo pouches were empty. So all that show of force was all show and no force, even the leopard tank was unarmed. This time, the army's come to town, they've taken over Glen Innes' football ground, and they're not doing anything menacing or propagandistic at all. All they're doing is helping the place. So this is one army encampment, of which Warbles on a lot fully approves. And hopefully, we won't get into too much trouble putting them on video camera when they are camped in a public place and their sign says no public access it does not say no video cameras visitors please report to command post flag via Abbott Street gate and underneath that turned inside out no public access uh -huh, look at that Billy Orchard on his gopher command post. Well, I'm going to go and chance my arm and ask them if they're going to let me go out there and stand in the middle and do a 360 pirouette on camera. Okay, you never know what you get till you ask. We will call this the geometric centre of the camp. Videoed with permission, even. I'm quite pleased with that. See if I can keep the horizon line out and get some small details. Who would have thought a military encampment with no weapons? Yahoo yippee. Okay. So, I got my video, and they got a dozen paper aeroplanes pre-printed, pre-painted. Warbles on a lot to YouTube. Ciao!